Six birds in a trench coat, building a zoo. Oh, welcome back, every birdie, to Reptopia, where today we will be building a habitat for the American alligator. And the plan is to have it look something like that. So because it's a swampy habitat, I am going to copy all of this and plop it down here. Now, while I was recording this, I thought that I was recording with sound. Uh, but apparently, even though I was talking into my microphone, it doesn't record anything when when you have the click the, the little button where it says don't record anything. So um, I guess I'll cue the music. I mean, I can always jump in and interrupt the music like I usually interrupt myself. Anyway, uh, yeah, those colors are not gonna stay. You'll see all that. Okay, that was fast. Yeah, so I have the same issues with the water level that I had earlier. Um, and it's just, it's such a tiny, tiny little thing. And it really bothered me for a long time until I just gave up and ended up just having the water level where it wanted to be. Of course, not before going through this weird-looking mountain range phase. Well, at least that's not there in the finished habitat. The water level was not the only issue I had. I mean, really, come on, what is a six birds build without issues? When I put the animals in there, oh my, why am I telling you this now? You know what? Hang on. This is, this is, a, uh, uh, no spoilers, um, uh, foreshadowing, uh, uh, commercial for later on. Seriously though, how stupid can animals in this game be? How how can they not access areas that are obviously accessible? And how come I always build with absolutely no plan? A goal, yes, but not a plan. I know what I want, I have no idea how. And and, and this just just oh so many things. It looks like a labyrinth, okay? Which is which is not the goal and um yeah. Oh wow, the camera work on this part. Okay, I'm uh, gonna cut ahead a little bit. Yes, I am in fact recording, re recording this voiceover while also editing the video, which will probably not make it any less chaotic. Oh look, custom billboards. Yeah, I'm probably telling you about this right now. Um, I made some signs. Some of them look like this. They are advertisements for the uh, garden thing, uh, which I'll build later. Um, now I'm zooming out. Oh yeah, there are these signs which show the specific habitats. There is also one for the uh, look at uh, crocodiles. Yeah, and a generic one right there. And this is for the Komodo dragon. There's also one for the Nile monitors and right over here for the Galapagos turtles. Tortoises, sorry. Oh wow, and that's for the kit. What is happening? Oh yes, I also put a fence around the playground because honestly, if your kids are playing here, you don't want that because kids will run into the jungle. There we go, much better. Not safe, safe. Well, I found this random pile of junk out here from when I was building the gift shop, and so I grabbed all of that and deleted it. Oh, we're back to the gators. And as you can see, everything is now brown. The pools are not as deep as they were. In fact, the alligators, they have quite a, a large water need, but they don't actually have a need for deep diving. What 
the heck was that? Okay, yeah, okay, so what I'm saying here is that a lot of the habitats have something like that in the back. This one also has an area I want blocked off, but because it is a very flat area, these southern United States swamps, I, I don't want it looking like rocks. I, I really don't want a cliff. So I went for a different look using not only dirt colored rocks, but also many, many roots, which will be attached to something that, um, well, obviously isn't there yet. Wow, we actually made it to the end of the song. And also to the end of that. We okay, we're onto the fences. Seriously, what is up with the camera work? Whenever I think that I am not recording a speed build, whether it turns out uh, that I am or, or not, it looks like someone attached a GoPro to a hyperactive puppy or something. See? That was weird. Okay, so what I'm doing here is sort of blending in the thing in the back with the thing in the front to make the whole thing, I said thing a lot of times, look more cohesive. <music> we're putting in the gators da, 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 da. Octo Gator and that is when I realized that the traversable area was completely effed the small ones could get in there but the large male was an idiot and so I started smoothing and flattening and smoothing and flattening yeah you get the point. I did a lot of that. I also took these things and tried getting that edge as flat as I possibly could. What in the floating confetti? Okay, so then let's see what happened. I know what happened. You probably also know what happened. Absolutely nothing. So I did some more of the stuff that I'd already done, thinking that maybe I just hadn't done enough of it. So I did some more smoothing and flattening and some more adjusting of these things. There's so much adjusting of those things. And that also had no effect. So I took a closer look at the area they could actually traverse and concluded that they needed ramps. So I put in a bunch of ramps and that also had no effect. Obviously, I thought I maybe hadn't put in enough ramps, so I did some more of that and tried to adjust it even better. And um, guess what? Nope. So then what did I do? More of the same. I think that's a definition of something, but I'm not really sure. Okie dokie. Yeah, that's bad. Then I concluded that maybe the problem is that they can't actually walk on top of these clay pieces for some unknown reason, so I got rid of all of those. I put the clay pieces in instead of the mulch because some of the animals could not walk on the mulch, and now these animals, I am thinking, cannot walk on the clay pieces. Ta-da! Yay! They can now get into the water. Okay, they cannot get out of the water. So what I did was delete all of that and then soil it up all over the habitat. Did it work? No. No, it did not work, except in this one little spot where I really didn't want it to work or need it to work because I'm going to put plants. So I did some more adjusting of everything. 
I don't know why I did this again, because it didn't work the first time, or the second time, or the third time. Uh, yeah, that one I hadn't done before. I tried making the up ramps a little bit more flat, hoping that the propagators could maybe get up them down. I mean, it looks nice. Had no effect. So I caved, and I put in that thing. I made a bridge. Usually a bridge goes from land over water. This bridge goes from water over land, because I know that if you just plop those on top of the water, they can climb onto them, which makes no sense because that edge is much... Oh yeah, that one. That That is an issue that I actually saw coming. Yeah. Should have just made those gates bigger to begin with. I've been expanding every single one of them. Yay! They can now go outside. And I really did not like the way those things looked. So I put down more because that's logical. The idea was basically turning a bug into a feature because a lot of these southern US swamps actually have these these plank walks, these wooden things. Um, yeah, and here I did a smart thing. I copied the wall with the education on it instead of doing it one thing at a time. Now I'm getting annoyed at the grass. And so I decided to put in curbs over here like I have done everywhere else. And the easiest way of doing that is just clicking them to the glass, angle snapping them on, and you have it precisely flush with the wall. Making sure to place the one with the biggest problem piece of grass first and adjusting the rest to it. Whee! I mean, definitely need plants, but it is starting to look like something that might look like something. Just raising those up a little bit. And yes, we have an escape issue. Now we don't. Plop. Is this the point where I started? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I uh, moved that one around a lot, thinking that I would put trees in it, and um, then I just uh, decided not to use it. Now I'm plopping in an old blueprint of my own that I made for... Whee! I made this one for another alligator habitat, kind of the same swampy looking area, but I learned a lot from that other habitat and I think this one actually turned out a lot better. say it again that underwater hydrilla is one of my absolute favorite plants and what you just saw there with the camera flipping over and then me deleting that blueprint tree that is because I don't want the alligator nests of the habitat to be visible while you're viewing the crocodiles so I'm trying to put plants up there on the ledge that kind of work for both the habitats or are only visible from in here. I think I ended up using some uh, some grasses later on. May put in some trees, not some, yeah, oh look. When the roots of this start blending with the roots of, of that edge there and the fog and the, ooh, I'm very excited about this habitat. Maybe I overused that hydrilla a little bit. Nah, that's not possible.
more hydrilla. <laughs> and then I added some decals on the front of this one because I really want this habitat to look just super overgrown. Like there's just so much moisture and nutrition in the soil that everything wants to grow there and and then it does, including ferns. I added many, many, I think those are called bracken actually, but brackens are a type of fern, aren't they? Sure they are. Either way, I put in many of them. What the heck was... And then I decided that if it truly is so lush and so green and so happy, then there should not be brown. It can't be green when it's brown. Yeah. Obviously, this piece of soily, rooty backdrop will not be visible from right outside that fence, but because the fence is rounded, it will be visible from the other side. So I thought another little blend in was in order. Obviously, also adding the hydrilla because that way the mud bath is, is framed a lot nicer and just looks like it makes more sense and isn't just plopped in there randomly. Then I checked the traversable area again and realized that the idiots cannot cross decals. Except for out there for some reason. Gave them a few more toys and yeah, added one more of those. Just increase the feature, not bug ishness. So, this is the part that I'm recording after editing all the other stuff that you just saw. Now I'm putting in some more of this grassy stuff. So what I'm trying to do is, whoops, think, whoops, double whoops, think where, where, where are they walking? And then not put too much grass there, here. And it's not necessarily where the actual in-game animals walk. It's more of a, uh, where would they walk? WWCD, what would crocodiles do? Wait, these are alligators. So let's say they like this area, and then they walk over here, whoa, because they also like this area, and then you want a tiny bit of the short grass here, and also on the edge of this, and they're probably not spending time out here at all. This is okay, I just realized I forgot the electric fence, and where gharials may not need super huge amounts of security, pretty sure you don't want to jump in and play with these guys. I'll do the fence in a minute. She said, hoping that she would remember it. Okay, maybe I should also just do a little smoothing here. Okay, a lot of smoothing. More grass. Should I? Yes. If you're standing over here and looking over here, that corner looks super empty. So, let's grab more of these. Actually, let's just grab part of this and just do a little area. Maybe get it out to the pillar now nah, because they need more space. And then just grab a tiny bit here and is it peeking? It is not peeking. I hope that it works. And then on top of this I am going to do the thing that I also did up here under all of this which is I took these flowers and then I flipped that upside down to use as mulch because the mulch was way too dark. This one matches the color of the stones so much better, and it is actually even closer to this. Get you all the way in there. Gardening. Large round dirt flower. That's its name now. Down. And let's just grab one more of those. Okay, two more of those. Okay, three more of those. Plop. Excellent. And you guessed it. Hi, Drilla. Okay, that's too big. Small. I really wish I had a hotkey for random rotation to toggle that on and off. And even though you can switch the hotkeys to different buttons, you cannot invent your own that don't already exist. I think. Can you? Seriously, if you can, you must tell me. We need more different stuff up there. 
maybe a fruit. That's not fruit. Now, what I've done so far is use the plants that are actually, according to the game, something that would grow in these animals' actual habitat. However, since I am not playing in franchise mode, I can simply decide that they don't care. I think there's another tree. And I think it's called Water Something. Yeah, see, that has the bottom that I'm looking for as well. It is, however, much lighter and very big. Ooh, that's, that's actually nice. Having it way out here. Maybe the one that's a little bit smaller. But then the bottom of it is also smaller. Okay, so the problem with this is it wouldn't actually be growing like that halfway into a concrete pool. And also the problem with this is I will probably untraversify that area. Can I put you here? Actually, yes. And it has the added benefit of kind of blocking off some of that. Yeah, I also wanted to put stuff on the roof. And I think stuff is going to be with these things with a bit of that. Because it kind of matches the general roof theme. So when you're standing down here, this, this is what I'm looking at. I don't want you seeing those trees. And I mean, now you can sort of see them. Oh, also, did I say earlier I was going to do something? And I... I don't even know what it was. <laughs> I just want to make sure that it actually looks like these plants are growing in soil and not, you know, fake rock. So just a hint of soil in the areas where it would be visible. There, that's enough. Up here, plop, more plop, and plop. That's fine. Could we put something taller up here? Maybe if I find something taller. I still have that thing sitting there. Let's look through these things. Da -da -da! Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna put the ones I want over here. Place them grass. Nope. Nope. Maybe? Maybe some of this bushy stuff. That looks nice. Already have bracken. Oh, yes. Yes, I want some of these. That one. Heck no. Unless... I mean, that looks... That looks completely ridiculous, but what if I sink it down, though? That works. Yes. Especially if I turn it around so it is not going through the wall. I like that. Okay. Back out here. Do we want dead trees? I kind of don't like how the branches are just obviously cut like that. Yes. We want a couple of these. And maybe also these. Probably. And maybe also stumps. And maybe also that. Okay, we're going full on dead trees now. Do we want the dead grass as well? No, we do want the buffalo grass. And of course, the reason that these trees would be dead in an area like this is that they grew in a place that then got flooded. Kind of like the clock grass. See, these are just too bright. That's, that's my issue with these, for this habitat. No, I mean, that one is a lot lighter than the others, but it's also more grayish, so it is acceptable. This is dark. Because I like putting dark things in the back usually. Now there was a limit as to how close I could get it to the walls. I think that's fine. Yeah, because the roof might be an issue here. That was a common ash. Is that the exact same one I just popped down in here? Yes. Well, at least I agree with myself. Dead trees. No. This is cowberry and this is crowberry. I could use, I could use the, which one is this? Crowberry, birdberry bush. Okay, what the? This is also really nice dark foliage, which could look very good back here again. See what happens when you put dark foliage at the back, it makes the brighter stuff in the front really just pop out. Ooh, so many branches. So I, I covered it in one thing, and now I'm covering it in another thing on top of it. But I do want this to look just totally overgrown. And this is the thing that we want over here, I think. I'll start from the bottom of the list this time. Wisteria? Maybe. Do we have something maybe not as bright? I know we do. But I think I want to put that... <gasps> I love this grass. I had, with the new buffalo grass, I almost completely forgot about the existence of, uh, this looks weird. Birch trees are also an option. Not really sure if birch trees actually, oh, I love this. And it has that grayish, bluish 
color that I really do like for this hat. Um, that is probably the biggest tree I have. Is that the one we have out here? Yes. Here we are. Ivy. I want all the ivy. That is a very small ivy. Can we not have random rotation on? I need my hotkey! So then, let's copy all of these and move them over here, all the way over here, all of them. Not the window, you idiot. Not the... Okay, forget it. So is this going to be the only habitat with an overgrown wall? Or am I going to be overgrowing many other walls as well? That one fits here, that one fits there, that one fits Gerald. Now the windows have curtains. Oh, look how well that matches the trees. Seriously, so good. Yes, you are allowed to be proud of yourself, compliment yourself. In fact, you should. Yes, because you, and I'm talking to you out there, you are a magnificent person. And even when you fail, you do so incredibly well. Seriously, failure is a skill. And like any other skill, it must be practiced. And a few more of the long hangy things. This is gonna take a very long time. But that's okay. Okay, my laundry's done. Hang on. I'm back. And uh, no, that was not the dishwash, uh, clothes washing machine making that sound. That was my phone because I do have to set an alarm, otherwise I will forget that anything is being washed. Well, probably until they run out of clean underwear or something. At which point the stuff in the washing machine is still wet and also very disgusting. Hashtag ADHD. Hashtag late diagnosis. Hashtag I don't need your expectations, I have my own. Can we put this one here? Is this complete overkill? Yes. Yes it is. Am I going to do it anyway? Absolutely. Okay, so now we just need a lot more. Okay, first it's the laundry, then it's the dog. I'll be right back. There was a duck in the garden. How dare it. I also have this Spanish moss though, which is not Spanish, by the way. It isn't moss and it isn't Spanish. Does that work? Not really. It is, however, named after the beards of the Spanish uh, military people of the time. What time? I don't know. The time when it was named. Can we hang it from these branches as well, please? I kind of love that. Flip it around that way. Move it over here, hang it from right there. I love that! Okay, so the issue is now it looks very Florida from that side. That's fine. It's fine. So the thing that I said I wanted to avoid is the exact thing that I am currently doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Now we just need that tree. Because of course we do. Whoa. This is why I never play those games where you're supposed to run around and jump off things because I end up jumping off at the wrong spot and then I die. Yes, now we're happy-ish. Right here. Is there even a branch? Yes, there is. Ah, this is so difficult. Yeah, I'm getting seasick. No, why is this so difficult? Now I'm happy. What was I doing? Yes, plants. I also like the Dren grass. Okay, more grass. I think I have enough plants actually to just you know, put them in there. Oh, the elm trees are so pretty. And that has a more dull color too, does it? I don't know, stop. Okay, that looked like a fried egg. Okay, actually these would be really good in there as well. Flop, flop. I don't want flowers in there. I do think I want some of these de lady ferns because they are darker than the- Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. yes. Vine curtain. No. Oh, these are so pretty too. That sound super creepy, actually. See, it is really practical that these rotate not on the middle axis, but on an axis that is lodged in one of its legs. Because then you can place the first one and then turn it. Okay, okay, 
This branch over here is both dead and naked. Which is how it sounded like a really bad reality TV show. It's no longer just naked and afraid. No, no, we have now progressed to naked and dead. Which I guess is what they're afraid of. Or maybe they're just afraid of being naked on TV. Hey, you. No, you. No, you. Thank you. Okay, I can't even see the branch from here. It's just sort of floating. That's gonna be a no. Okay, we're done. Right? No, this hole looks very empty. Empty? Better. So where do I want some darker ferns? A little bit here. Peace count going through the roof. And what do we have in here? Do we have any areas lacking darker foliage? Don't really honestly think we have any areas lacking foliage, but hey. Always add more foliage. Whoa. So if we're standing here. You can't see Jack squat back there anyway. Okay, I'm kind of scared about the whole traversable area thing. So if I am to put in any of these, I should probably start doing it now. Is it a root? Is it a tree? Who cares? But they're kind of hidden, but can also really... That one's very twisty. Why are the birds screaming? So I have the large one there, and a sunken down combo here, and then a not sunken down combo behind it. I love it. Much better. <gasps> if I just do these tiny little sticks sticking out, that's kind of cool, isn't it? But I don't want to overdo it. She said and plopped down another 50. So if I plop this one right here... Oh, yes, 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 yes. Boop. Obviously, but they will not be able to get into the water over here if I place it here. But can they still, you know, get around? Let's check traversable area. Always click the big idiot. That was the old traverse. See, they couldn't even get past here before. Recalculating. No difference. Awesome. I is happy. Are you okay? What about the small stumps? Here? Yes. Yes. No more stumps. Do we want some of this white bushy stuff? Or is it too bright? It's kind of a highlight thing. I kind of really like it right there, mixed in with the super dark stuff. What about in here? Yes, absolutely. That goes really well with the hanging moss, and also the larger version of it over there. Okay, that's it. Don't overdo it. She said after adding about a gazillion plants. I kind of want a tree down here. Wait. I wanted a tree over here. But that's actually not even going through any walls. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Do we need another dead tree? I kind of don't think we do, but... Honestly, have we needed any of the 49 things that I just did? I'm really enjoying building this habitat, honestly, so maybe I'm just... Maybe I just don't want to be done, alright? Yikes. That's nice. Okay. I want more. All the way... Oh, no, 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 no. I want to go in here. I want to click log, and I want the huge one. Up against this wall. That is exactly what I need over here. A tiny bit more into the ground, because it is heavy. Now this needs something. Luckily I have a whole lot of something out here. Let's play with some grass. Yeah, I like this one up close. It looks amazing. But then when you zoom out, it just looks super yellow and bright. Which I think may actually be the reason why I have it. Okay, I'm gonna go see why they're screaming. Hi. They did not actually have a problem. It's just getting close to the time where I usually take them out to play, and they want that time to be right flipping now. Speaking of play, these guys are probably also going to need toys. Oh, they have this thing. They have that thing. They do not have any food enrichment. That's what they're missing. Underwater fish feet? None of the water is deep enough for that. And they want the exact same boring things that everybody else does. And now I have to fix the terrain again. And also this area looks kind of bad. Oh yes, now I remember the thing that I said I was going to do and then forgot. The fence. 
gorgeous. Maybe. Wait, do we want Everglade water? Um, yes, absolutely. Let's put in some grass. I mean, in every other habitat, I have put in grass as if this is the stuff that you know, naturally grows in the area. And because their gardeners, you know, don't want to go in there all the time with the big dangerous animals, I am putting in much grass. Is this sticking through? Oh, that's a toilet. Nobody cares. They can use it to wipe their... Never mind. Why are you whining, doggy? We brought him up here because he kept borking since there was a duck outside and he could not accept that fact. No, I am not going to let you out so you can get beaten up by the duck. Both though, that is what would happen. Maybe you don't know that, but by now you should. Yeah, my dog got beaten up by a duck. That was last summer, I think, when the ducks decided to have babies in our garden, which was amazing. And he had been chasing them into the pond all spring, and they would just sort of oblige him. In fact, if they were not fast enough, he would slow down. But then, when they had their babies, suddenly a female felt the need to defend them rather than run away. And, uh, yeah, I mean, no one was actually hurt except, I think, his pride. And now he wants to go chase the duck again. Like an idiot he is. I've done this thing before where I sort of put them like that. And it just looks so good. Boop! You know what I want. No, you don't. I want feeder barrel. And I know. I know that these guys can't use them. But what they can actually use in-game and, 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 and what they would have in a real zoo, not always the same. Now I'm just starting to use enrichment items as a um, random decoration. What else can we give you that would look good even if you don't use it? A tiny tunnel. Um, okay, stop. Seriously, stop. We are done. But they do need more food enrichment. We're not done. I'm going to put some blocks of frozen fish up here. And then they have this thing. Ugh, I hate them. Wait a minute. Could we potentially... The width is right. But will the meat then be hidden in it? That looks so much better. Yeah, I'm going to do that to the other ones off camera. Because this really is a massive improvement. Before. After. So I am going to go let my dog into the garden and protect him from the duck. And then I am going to shoot the finishing shots of the habitat when I come back. Okay, I'm back. We have the roof in place, this gorgeous tree right there. Okay, let's press play. So I went downstairs to let the dog out, and at this time there were two ducks. So he absolutely refused to go outside. And no, that's not pathetic. That is smart. When the enemy has twice your numbers, do not engage. Yeah, so um, I let the dog out the front door instead. He really needed to pee, and now he's happy. This one time when I really needed to pee, I was rushing towards the toilet saying, need to pee, need to pee, need to pee, and my son outlaw asked me, what is a to pee? Vegetable toupees aside, this is the habitat. And even though the animals look very similar, to the crocodiles we very recently put in, the habitat is just so different and I really like it. Wait a minute, those don't grow in the ocean. Oh well, this is a lake. <laughs> 